Hi and welcome into the Kitchen Sink podcast where we talk about everything but the kitchen sink. Guys, we're rocking and we're rolling. What did you say? One, two, three, testing. Um, hi everybody. One minute, let me just get, my situ- get myself situated. Um, it's not the comfiest. No, that's it? why I pulled my nose. It's not the comfiest headboard. Mm. Not gonna lie, no, I'm complaining. Hi everyone. This is quite an abrasive light, isn't it? I've got wet hair and a red nose, mind your business. Yeah. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear any sort of air con. We've turned the air con off that we have control over, but they, they these places have got like a weird vent that's just constantly blowing things. But anyway, um, hi everyone and welcome into episode, God, what episode is this? I think it's episode eight. Gorgeous. I think it's going to be episode eight, yeah. Episode eight of the kitchen sink. Well, as you can see and probably hear, if you're watching, you can see. If you're watching, first let's acknowledge this. No, let's acknowledge this. I'm here with <laughs> Liam, my best friend. Hi, 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 hi. I guess let's like, so acknowledge this first. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm with Liam, my my best friend. That's lovely, isn't it? That's really quite nice. I know. And then on top of that, we are in fact in a hotel right now. So we are coming to you live on set. Mm-hmm. From Waterloo. On location. On location, absolutely. Um so yeah, I'm currently staying at a lovely, like a part hotel situation called Stowaway. Now I can say this because no one's going to be seeing this while I'm still here. So Absolutely. no one's going to come and be weird. Okay. Um, so yeah, staying at a Stowaway. And you're going to be seeing a vlog probably, probably before this, but um, like showing you the whole hotel. But guys, it's really lovely. They're made out of shipping containers. Yeah. I was going to say, we have eyes on a kitchen sink currently. We absolutely do. There's not one in shot, but... Unfortunate, but I'm sorry. Needs you, must. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. You're covering my light. You can't put your hand there. <gasps> sorry about that. I'm going to leave my kid out the fucking wire. Guys, I'll tell you what, the wire in this microphone is a little bit temperamental. So if, if I go dark... But you need to give it up. We're giving production value. Yeah, I brought my mics to London with me. We've got spotlights. Yeah, now don't get me wrong. I don't think they're the most attractive. Like, I, I probably look ratty. Well, let's address the elephant in the room. We went out last night. Yeah, guys, we did. And we've got a lot to say. So that's what we, we were taking notes. Yeah, basically this episode's going to be kind of different to the rest because usually I kind of come into an episode with, like, uh, as you guys know, if you've been watching or listening along, topics of the week and we kind of have, have a point of view. This one, we don't really have a point of view. We're just going to chat shit, basically. We have a direction. We do. Yeah. A no map. Absolutely. So who knows what's, what this episode is going to hold, but I think it's going to be entertaining nonetheless. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we went out last night. <sighs> Guys. Guys. First of all, off, off the bat, we had a great time. Oh, had a gorgeous time. We were already there for about th- three hours. We got there at 11. Yeah. No, less than that. We got there at 11, just before 11, and we left at one. That's two hours. I think we left at half one. Oh, half one. Yeah, I think that makes more half. sense. Yeah, I think we left at half one because then we were. We, I think we were at Mackey's till bloody two. Yeah, we'll get on to that, guys. Oh my god. I think we need to start with the fact that this is our old stomping ground. Yeah, we went to we went to uni together, obviously, and we went out to heaven probably two or three times a week <laughs> in our prime. Truly, which now looking back, it was overkill. It was way overkill, but. It was the clo- it was easy to get to. There was three of us, maybe four of us in the group. It was like a central location. It was just And also we were we were somewhat hating our lives and as lives were difficult. Yeah, and heaven So heaven and going out, it was a, it was a way of us having fun. Yeah, we were way west London as well, so like East London was too far. Too too yeah. far. But also, do you know what I find? I I find it baffling that we managed to do that on a budget. I know. Lim, I remember there was a de- there was t- uh, there was a time where I was getting student loan, right? And I think I had maybe seventy pound a week, yeah, to spend on food and everything else. Yeah. And I was going out several times yeah. a week. We were DIY what? outfits, cutting things up, sticking things together. In what world does a student loan stretch that far? And we weren't just going to heaven; we went to Freedom too. And guys, if you've been to Freedom, it's not so cheap. Bar. We were getting lychee martinis at Freedom. Absolutely, they're not cheap. They come like minimum. For a cocktail, you're looking at about nine, ten quid. Yeah. I mean, that's fairly average for a cocktail, but we would go cocktails at Freedom. Why would but, we do that? But, bitch, it's like, that's the cheapest at Freedom is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. 
Like there, there's some that you can. That they were like fourteen pounds. Yeah, but we would go in on the prees. We drink a bottle of wine for prees and then yeah. shots and vodka. But wine makes me happy. Yeah, mine. My, wine makes me so happy. But I tell you what, I'm going to say this, guys. I spent thirty quid off the bat last night because I accidentally ordered three drinks. Yeah, you did. And did I down the first one? Yeah, I did. And did I say we were going to share it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. But you smashed it, and I let you. I let it happen. Yeah. And also, realistically, I'm I am a heavier weight than you are. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. almost did need it. Yeah. I felt on a great level last night. <sighs> Same. The, the thing is, guys, here's where we're at in life and with going out, especially in my age currently. Mm. You're slightly different. You've got a bit more of like a party lifestyle. I don't, right? Mm. Um. So where I'm at is I'd, I'd rather go out, get to a point where I'm still having fun, but I can, I can feel myself getting a bit tired. The bones are getting a bit achy. You know, like last night, my back was starting to hurt a little bit. Yeah. Starting to strain. Yeah. And when we both, when, when obviously like bag of chips was coming on, I don't give a shit about bag of chips. Because on a Thursday, if you don't know, poor, um, Heaven has a thing called Porn Idol. Yeah. Which is essentially where last night they were begging for people to get up on stage and strip and then you win a certain amount of money and you get ju- judged by famous drag queens. Yeah, and it, guys, it's just willies flying. Vaginas. Punani spreading. Boobies. Yeah, and you know what? Each to their own. But, but it's l- terrifying. I would not be doing it. They beg people to get up on stage. They do. At the, at the chance they might win, why, might win some money. And yeah. if they don't do it, by the time the big timer on the back gets off, everyone goes, take it off. And you have to get naked. Wait, I didn't know there was rules like this. Yeah, that's what the big clock is for. Oh. And you get rated. You get rated. Oh no, I know that they I know that they rate your moves because I've I've seen that happen before. And they they're harsh. Sometimes. I would feel humiliated. Well, this is a thing. And also, is anyone's flaccid penis nice to look at? No. Especially, Let's call it what it is. Especially not gyrating and thrashing. No, and like also that. just wrapped around a pole. I, 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 Torsion of the test D, if you ask me. Oh, God, no, it's not going to that. But yeah, so, guys, we, we literally got there, and in the queue, as we were walking in, they were like, are you stripping tonight? Are like, you stripping tonight? And I said, no. We got asked like three times each. And he was pumped. The guy, the first guy that, that uh, Liam, I'm sorry, the first guy that <laughs> asked us, right, he was, he was in the queue as you were getting checked. Guys, he was pumped. He was pumped. And if you want to know what I mean by pumped, I mean juvederm. Juvederm. The lips, cheeks, chin. A filler. It's the chin for me. It's the chin and the cheeks and the jaw. It's the shaved down jawline. Well, because I think sometimes when I look at people with filler, no judgment, do what you want to do. But I look at it and I'm thinking, you're only adding on. Yeah, you're making your head bigger. bigger. Which I guess in proportionizing. I could do with a bit of that. Because my head is a pea. She's got a small head. That's why we've got the volume up front. <laughs> and guys, the mullet's gone. I've said this in every video that I've posted probably up to now. But I'm, I'm living. The mullet is gone. And I'm not mad about it. I think my microphone stopped recording. Do you? Yeah. Okay, and we're back. Um, sorry. Technical difficulties. I'm going to have to be really careful with this mic because I've basically fucked up the wire in my mic. So there might, have been a bit, there might have been a bit of time in there where you couldn't really hear me much, and that's because my mic was fucked. Or I could sit out and you're not even hearing this, right? But we are back. Are we still good? Yeah, we're good. Guys, I'm sorry. This is really annoying me. Anyway, <laughs> so, should we go into my note? Oh, Liam, get the phone. No, I've got my phone. No, I need my note. Oh. Because we made some drunk notes. Get the shoe. Sorry, right, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Get the shoe. Guys, we made some drunk notes when we were out in the smoking area. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Don't, don't worry. I'm not a smoker. We just need some fucking fresh air. We needed to actually take a pause, didn't we, and discuss. Oh. That's what's number one. Actually, I made a, a, the first note when we were still in air free number drinking. One, number one's a doozy. Number one is a doozy, and that is gay people paedophiles. Oh, we had a long... Guys, before we went out, we have this thing where like, we tend to really pop off when we get drunk. And it's... we speak a lot about deep things. It's usually after we get back. Yeah, usually. And we just this one was This one was pre. Because we've been seeing the video of Sam Smith being harassed in New York. Which is, I'm sorry, disgusting. And I, I raised the question, why is it that people who see LGBT people and don't agree with it, they go instantly to paedophiles? That's the insight. Yeah, where's the correlation there? Well, I've been thinking about it. Oh, she's been giving it well, some thoughts. No, I've been thinking because they, there's this whole thing. And I don't know, I don't, I don't know, don't quote me on this. But apparently in the Bible, the reason why people 
say that homosexual was conde- homosexuality was condemned was because it said m- they mistranslated man lays with man and it actually was man lays with boy. Right. So I don't know if that's got something to do with it. I imagine it does. But honestly, because why in the Bible does it say that man lays with boy when he's gay? Because they they instead of saying man lays with boy about children, because that happens in the church. They changed it to man lays with man. And that's on period. And that's on period, yeah. Because that happens, happens in, in the, the church. church. We all know. Um, they Not fooling nobody. They changed it to man lays with man and changed it to the gays. Right. I believe. Don't quote me. This is all allegedly. This is all alleged. Now, obviously, I, I mean, we might have some religious people and they could probably educate us a little bit. But I imagine if you're religious and you're watching this, you don't have a gripe with the gays. I should yeah. hope not, anyway. Unless you hate watching. Hi. Yeah, unless you hate watching, which I'm sure does happen. Because, I mean, I do get a few dislikes these days. Pay the bills, honey. But you know what? It's fine. Do you know what I love, love though? And this is not related to this conversation whatsoever. But I love that on YouTube, they've stopped you, like people being able to see the dislike count. Yeah. And I know there was uproar being like, but what about freedom of speech and all this bollocks? No. Fair enough. Dislike it. But do, do I need to see it? No. Like I have to go to extensive lengths to see that dislike count these days the number. Like, i have to go to the youtube studio look for it if i want it see on tiktok it, they added it it's just not good for you i just don't think it's good for you like fair enough give people the option to dislike but i just think like is it important for no. someone to show the disdain for your content that you're working so hard on the only thing i no. see it on tiktok is because of people like andrew tate who was saying things and then there was followers commenting things they don't show the number, but you can dislike it, and then that ranks the comment lower, so people aren't as likely to see that comment. Right. See, see, that helps almost. That's kind of helpful. On YouTube, it's just like the dislike, the thumbs down button was just there to make you feel bad. When you've said time and time again, within the first few seconds, sometimes. Yeah, yeah guys. For for a while, it was just like usually for the first few hours i'm kind of safe and a lot of it's just likes like i rarely get well i rarely used to get dislikes but these days when the first few seconds first few minutes i'm getting dislikes and i'm thinking well clearly these people are subscribed and they've got the notification bell on mm. and they're watching and they're clicking mm. you know what i mean mm. so that makes me think that people are just like hate watching and then they click on a video and dislike it but then to me i'm just like have you not got anything better to do with your time the thumbs down other people's content but also it's just like you're taking time out of your day to actively come onto my page and just dislike it but i can't see it anyway so it's no skin off my nose so i mean feel free to dislike this if you want to that's completely fine i won't be able to see it just a waste of time but i know that people there, there was there was havoc when they first initially scrapped the thumbs down button but i was living and I understand, obviously, it's important for people to be able to show where they stand. But I just think that that's just a breeding ground for hate. It's not constructive, is it? It's not. This is the thing. If it was completely constructive, fine. But people can just thumb down something because of anything. Yeah. Like, you don't know why they're thumbsing it down. I just don't understand why people would take the time to thumbs down something. Just click off it. You don't have to watch it. You're not obliged to watch but it. But it goes to hate comments also. We've spoke about this how many times? You're not obliged to watch it. That's the thing. Oh, I didn't tell you. I don't think I told you this. I got, oh, I got in an altercation with someone in the comments. Did you? Because sometimes, guys, I like to fight back. <laughs> I, I do. I like to fight back because I, I just, I'm not one of these people that thinks, like, obviously, like, I'm grateful for my platform, of course. But, like, I also think, like, it's still my content and it's still stuff that I'm choosing to put out. So I, I, why have I not got a merit to, to defend it? Do you know what I mean? And defend myself. Just because, obviously, I'm the one that's, I guess, choosing to put myself in that position, I suppose. But this person, like, commented, and it, it did sound almost religious, the way they were putting it. And I probably could find it, because I kept it on there. Um, and, like, loads of people were, like, replying to them and stuff. I think I posted it on my story, like, the first part. But it was essentially this person, like, asking me to change the way I am, because I'm camp, they were saying. Yeah. Like, they, they were commenting on my campness, and they were, like, they were saying, like, and this is, like, I'm not saying this just for your benefit. Like, you need to change for everyone else, too. They were, like, it'll do you the world of good, and it'll also make men attracted to you and all this stuff. And they were, like, being camp is so immature, and, it, like, 
that's what young people do. That's what it was, that's what this person was saying. They were like, it's a young thing. I think you showed me this comment, but you didn't tell me you replied. Oh no, bitch, there's loads. I'm gonna try and find it. Speak to the audience one second. I wanna find it because we need to read through this. Well, there was more ones. What were we talking about a few days ago in the comments? It's uh, it's just people. This is where we, the resolution go back to the thing about the point that we raised about the gay people and paedophilia thing. Mm-hmm. Like, why is that a connection? In the end, we came around and it was it was. I don't have a problem with anyone existing in their own space is as soon as somebody try, tells me how I should live because that's how they believe they things should be. Yeah. That's what I have a problem with. And that's exactly what that is. Yeah. That person believes you should be a certain way. So it's come to your channel, taking the time out of their day to try and tell you You're to change ready. to suit them. And that, that for me goes with religion, goes with... <gasps> Here it is. Even, even preachy vegans. I, tr- I try and really not be a preachy I vegan. I mean, he comes for me for drinking milk sometimes. But that's you. Because I, I'm friends with you. Yeah, and I guess I can take it because I give, I give him as much as he gets. But I'm not about to sp- stand behind someone in prep ordering a cow's milk no. drink and go, you shouldn't be ordering Well, this that. is the thing. I, the, I, I think now, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. From my perspective, a lot of us gay people, we're not advocating for everyone to live the way we live. We're advocating for us to be able to live the way we want to live, you know? Like, I'm not here over here preaching, like, on here preaching to you all that you all should be accepting and gay i'm just asking for you not to hate me for wanting to accept myself and be gay i live that way you know that i think that's that's the difference like there's one side of this this debate i guess that's extremely hateful and all like deaths like that that young trans girl dead but yet jk rowling still thinks that she's the victim did you see all that no. She thinks that she's essentially the victim in all this and that she's been truly misunderstood. Anyway, we're not going to get into that, but I found the comments. Okay. Should we read? So I'm not going to... I mean, you, anyone can go see it. It's, it's called Mario Luigi. That's their, that's their title. And the initial comment was, why are you so camp? Question mark. Please stop. Full stop. Try to change. Full stop. That was the comment. And I was like, you know what? I'm not letting them get away with this. No, I'm not standing for that. I'm not fucking standing for this. This is my comment section. And do you know what it was? I, this could easily be like a JK Rowling stand because it was on a... I was going to say, what video was it on? No, it was a community post that I posted and it was about Goblet of Fire. Okay. So I think it easily could be mm. s- uh, uh, someone on that end, you mm. know? So I just commented, get out of my comments. <laughs> I just put... Co- um, I, and I put laughing faces. Then this is what they put. Guys, this is where it got serious. Seriously, it's lame and it makes it unwatchable. Yeah, all right. Makes it look so fake and annoying. Even just your expression in the photo of this thing right here looks camp. Just stop it. That was cute like 15 years ago. You need to end it now. Nobody acts like that anymore. Do you want to see what my face looked like? I'll be putting it on the screen. That is anything but camp. That's ugly. But camp? I don't know. We're continuing. There's 42 replies on this thing. Some people will come into my defense, oh. but most of it's me and him. Then I just put, then don't watch. Dot, dot, dot. That's fine. Bye bye. <laughs> I was just like, okay. Honestly. Then, guys, he continues. See, I'm putting tiny little replies here. He's giving me length. He's taking time. Really taking time out of the day. He then put, it's not appealing. It's not appealing and unattractive. That's good news. Wait, what? The good news is it's easy to change and act normal. Right. Try watching other guys move and speak. Imitate it and you'll get it quickly. Don't have an ego saying you don't need to do that and you're your own person. You really do need to change for your own sake more than anyone else's. See what? He's saying all this as if he knows the public's perception of me. If anyone's going to know that, it's me. What? And who said that you have to act this bitch it's funny oh there's so much then i just pop oh i'm doing great don't you worry thanks for your concern though and then someone someone else obviously came to my defense a little bit then he put yeah i wasn't watching it i wanted to watch it because i was interested in your reaction he's commented on a community post you have to be subscribed to see that right because it comes up in your subscriptions do you know when like you see all the videos and your subscriptions a community post goes there i'm just going to jump in here Jump in, this is what I said yesterday. The outward hate starts with hate within yourself. Oh, absolutely. This oh, that's person, profound. That's, that needs to be on a t-shirt. It does. That's what you should have written on your it's t-shirt. The tea. <laughs> yeah, that's what I should have written on my t-shirt. <laughs> this is the tea. If, if you have really di- real discomfort within yourself, if you hate your body, 
for example. My body. My body. We've all been there. And you're having a down date. Or you hate your hair. You see, All you see is people with gorgeous hair. And you think, why the fuck have you got nice hair? Yeah. Just a little part of you. Mm. Jealousy is a natural thing. It's then about turning that jealousy into movement towards bettering yourself rather than hating other people. Absolutely. I am going to continue because these get juicy. Go for it. And this is a fun little sag, I guess. <laughs> little sag. Um, so he said that he wanted to watch it because he was interested in the reaction and, and for me to see it in it for the first time. Mm. This was, once again, me, com- me mentioning that it's now on Patreon, this video. Yeah. It's not up yet. Right? But I literally couldn't. It was just too horrible. So that makes me think, is he on Patreon? I'm just thinking that you should search the, the patrons. Is, Mario it, is Luigi. a patron? Guys, check the patron list. I Mario posted Luigi. Bit. Mario Luigi. Then he's put, and I'm not saying that to put you down. I'm saying it as a matter of fact, because it is what it is. Again, you can easily change, and it would be nice to see you at least try. Even a slight improvement in being less campy would be appreciated by literally everybody. Even the ones that say they are fine with you the way they are, they only say it because they don't want to upset you. At the moment, your demeanor is camper than a row of tents. Honestly, not cool. And I think that's a slay. Camper than a row of tents. That's what my dad says. Camper than a row of pink tents. I've never heard that before. And I just put, cute, camper than a row of tents. Love that. I'll be sure to use that in the future. Boots. Love that. Yeah. Camper than a row of tents. But yeah, and then it kind of just went back and forth. And he was like, I'm not being cute. And baby boy, call me baby boy. It's giving, it's giving, woohoo. It's giving Sasha Fierce. And baby boy, you know it's the truth, what I'm saying. So don't in- instantly get defensive and upset. I'm helping you with advice, not harming you. Also, please quit with the ego. Bitch, what's what's egotistical about what I'm replying? And also, where does it say that I'm angry or hurt by what it's saying? I'm unbothered. I just don't remember you asking for this, well, this type of feedback. Thing. Bitch, there's loads. And, they, and I put, like, they reply and put, yeah, you know I do love you. But you hate me, apparently. I replied, oh, baby boy, love hearts. Just don't watch it. But but it's like they're reading into what I'm saying, and I, I'm not angry in my replies. They want me to be angry. That's the thing. He wants me to be mad. But I think the fact that I'm not is, like, angering this person more. Do you know what I mean? It's mad. And then, obviously, like, some of my subscribers obviously saw it because, obviously, it got loads of comments and stuff. But yeah. But it's just, it's just crazy. Like those kind of people c- c- obviously are subscribed. Yeah. Coming to a post about something on Patreon to spread hate. Now I get like obviously like public videos, whatever, but that's a community post. That's not available to the public. I don't think I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't think so. But I think. I, I don't remember scrolling down people's pages who I'm not subscribed to and seeing community posts. No. And I also think, like, surely he's got to be on Patreon if he tried to watch it. Because it's only released on Patreon. Yeah, it was only released on Patreon at that point, yeah. Gag. So, uh, so guys, I just don't understand, to be honest. I don't really know how we got here, but, oh, that was it, to do with the Sam Smith thing. And, like, yeah, yeah we basically last night backed the point. So yeah. that was a long tangent, but hopefully it was riveting. I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, but back to the point. What was the point? Last night... We, we did, in, during pre-drinks, guys, we popped off. Mm. Because the correlation, like you like we've said, uh, like with this whole gay people now being paedophiles, and obviously this kind of was spawned upon. That's not the right word. Whatever. With obviously this, this video that's now surfacing of S- Sam Smith. And Walking through the they're park. just out in New York living the best life. <laughs> and th- there's this elderly woman I just don't berating have, them. I don't have time for hatred. I mean, I kind of popped off on the church just then. But I don't even hate the church. If you're, if you're, this is the thing. If you're the type of person that like, I like the 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 vibes of love thy neighbor as you love yourself. You know, God. If you're believing in God, created everyone in His perfect image. Whatever. I think use the Bible to better yourself, not to bring down people. I see that. I see the Bible, and I see the the. There's positives. I see it more as personally. I see it more as like metaphors. Right, being a good person, Stories. doing good things, and taking good the good the seeds, taking the seeds of, of wisdom and implanting them into your own life. Mm. That's what I see. Yeah. I have a hard time understanding it's a rule that it's a rule book. Yeah, but we like we were kind of saying earlier, guys, and I, I would like to be educated on this if anyone does know, because I was saying like who wrote it, and I said to Liam like this was kind of an example that I gave. To me, it kind of seems like imagine I, I need to burp, but I won't. Because I might throw up. Um, <laughs> from my perspective, it's it's as if I was saying to Liam, right, 
imagine I'm a lover of the church and the Bible, right? It's as if I'd heard a, uh, heard a song, watched a TV show. I thought it was profound, right? Yeah. I watched Stranger Things and yeah. I thought it was profound. Yeah. Some of the stuff that they did in season four, it really touched me. Yeah. And it changed me for the better, yeah. right? But it's, it's like me then choosing to live by Vecna's rules. And criminalizing anyone that and, doesn't. Yeah, and criminalizing and berating people who don't choose to abide by Vecna's rules like me. Little Vecnus, right? Vecnussy. Yeah. That's what it says to me. Like, this book has been made, right? Don't know who made it. Men. Probably white men. <laughs> Just calling it what it is. Um, it's been made. And obviously, like, like we've said, it's a book of stories. It's prophecies. Whatever you want to fucking say, it's stories. Right? Metaphors. Nobody was there. This is a thing. I it's, wasn't there. It's fabrication. I don't know who wrote it. Liam, it's fabrication. But this is a thing. We don't know who wrote it. Well, exactly. This, is, I, this might be my lack of education showing. Uh, well, this is what I mean. Feel free to educate us in the comments if we are being ignorant. I don't think it was rotten white men that wrote it because... Well, it was it then. Middle East, isn't it? I've no, I've no Israel. idea. Israel, no? I've no idea. Bethlehem. Bethlehem? Where's that? Isn't Israel? it Israel? I think it's Israel, you're right. Yeah, that's not white men. Right. But then that's but, a whole but, other thing. But, but did they write it? Oh, that's a whole other thing about gays in the Bible. Have we all heard that theory of Michelangelo's lover being the depiction yes. of Jesus? I Gay. love that. I love that. But yeah, so it's just like, I'm happy for people to believe what they want to believe. I'm not telling nobody to believe anything, right? But do not try and force a certain lifestyle on me. And because I'm not abiding by, <sighs> coming for me. I think stay in your lane. That's the thing. And then I'm going to switch. This, this is, is a relay race and you stay in your lane and I'll stay in no, my lane. Now watch thinking. this segue. Speaking of staying in your lane, spatial One. awareness. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get off this topic. Hey. Shall I get my list? Spatial awareness is a, is a prevalent thing that we all should be studying and learning. Okay. Yeah. Because in the club, it's lacking. Well, not just in the club. On the streets of London, we've noticed. I'm sure other cities also. There's some mean stuff in those notes. I know. Not sure if I can spread that to the The, um, the spatial awareness is so severely lacking. Yeah. In the club, I understand you're close to people, right next to people. But there's... There's a line to which there you is. can feel your fantasy when you're sharing that space with somebody right next and to you. And you're not falling all over. We place. don't need arms, legs, tits, breasts, back. Boobs and titties. And legs everywhere in my business. Yeah. I don't need that. <laughs> I understand it. I, I, and I think it's great that you're living your life. But I'm also living your life currently. Pause. I shut the fat and I didn't want it to come across on the, on the lights. <laughs> Continue. I've just cut that out. Like last night, there was a person right next to us and... Just hair Ooh, whipping. I think it smells. Arms, Sorry about that, everybody. Arms and legs going. Just all on top of us. Oh, Liam, no, it smells. Brad. Uh, Sorry, guys, I farted. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to give here. Sorry, you give. And I'll be... Oh, it reeks. What have I eaten? Mackies. Oh, that was gorgeous, though. Chili cheese bites. Yeah. That's, what that's a chili fart. Chili cheese bites. You know what? We all fart. We all pump. We all bump. And that's on that. Yeah, spatial awareness. Wait, who are you on about that was just sweater thrashing vest. around? Oh, see, I wrote down sweater vest. Yeah, sweater vest. <sighs> yeah. That's he, who I was talking about. Was, so, I mean, I did write down fit boys or good kissing. We'll talk about that next. <laughs> but let's talk about spatial awareness. because I wrote vest. sweater vest, thought he was serving. Oh, yeah, it was just, and I understand that I can kind of get on board with. It's when it's in my, it's just on me. Guys, he was all over the place. Like, and don't get me wrong, you could tell he was feeling his oats, and that is a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful you thing. You go to these spaces to fill your oats and to fill yourself. And I respect that. Absolutely. We're all drunk, we're all feeling it, right? We're all giving. Watch the vlog and you'll see we'll give, right? But just don't be thrashing around other people. Obviously, you're going to have to touch me, you're going to have to rub up that's against fine. me, and that's totally fine. Bit of sweat, bit of gristle. It's fine. Sure. We're in this, We're packed in this room like sardines. Yeah, I expect it. But there's a certain way to act in that space. Yeah. And that is not acting as if you're in an open open field or something. It's not, yeah. And it's just like, it is just, it's strutting around, thrashing around. And whipping. With no hair. He's got no hair on his head, by the way. No. Quick. There, there was no lace front to be whipped. <laughs> Quick, like quickly thrashing. Yeah, just taking almost like... close to headbutting people. Yeah, literally. Like he was swinging his head. I've got another fart brewing. I'll try and keep it in. No, I don't think I can. It's breaching. We're not talking about farts. <laughs> don't know <think> my wipes. <laughs> 
<laughs> don't look at my wives. Don't look at it. They're not there. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, live your best life. But Spatial I, awareness. But I just think, be still respectful. Because even when you're the most drunk, I still think there's a level of respectfulness there. Yeah, I think it's... In my opinion. That's what it is. You're just, just be mindful that you're sharing this space with other people. Yeah. Like, oh, there was a time where we went out and I think out, we were with Leah. Or, we were with a female, for sure. And I think it was our Leah. I don't know. And there was a time where this girl was on like the platform and we were still on the floor and she fell on Alia. I don't think I was there. No, it was in heaven. It wouldn't have been Alia. No. It was a different female. Shannon? No, because she was tall. Was it Liv? It was someone small. No, Liv's tall. There was, there, there was a time where we went out with a female. I can't remember what female. Amelia? Could have been Phoebe. Phoebe don't think came to heaven. Don't know. Whatever. But um, this girl fell. I don't remember that. On this female i'm not sure who it was right yeah she, she she fell and oh my god there was drinks flying and that's that's where i get off i'm just thinking right stay on your feet stay in your p- little space that you've chose to accommodate mm. and we'll be totally fine we'll be peach keen actually yeah and i think it, it sometimes goes past that and i think we should relax okay the next thing i did write down is fit boys ugly kissing yeah and now do we bring this up it's up to you, honey. I'm going to let you take the lead on this okay. one. Okay. Well, guys, no, I will. I will. So, guys, last night there was a fit boy in the club, right? Um, and do you know it's? Do you know what it is? It's not even fit boy or good kissing. The thing that I took away was like this whole mentality of in the club, people think that we don't have eyes, right? You know where I'm going with this. I know where you're going. Like. So essentially, here's here's the lowdown. We look so relaxed and comfy right I now. I really am. So am I. <laughs> so, um, here's the lowdown. So we were obviously living as best lives, and obviously you look around, you survey the land, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so, Opportunities. Yeah, and that's what we were doing, yep. right? We both saw this person. We both saw the other person. Mm. Ugly duckling, right? Oh, he was not that ugly. Okay. You you could you could it won't say this last night, but now we're on air. That's I, fine. I just slated the church, bitch. All doors are <laughs> all, all, all I just slated the church. All are off now. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it's not about that. Um, but right, so these two people got off. One I was attracted to, one I was not. That's, right, that's gorgeous. That absolutely, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So I saw this with my eyeballs, right, with my raw eyeballs, because I want that drunk. I can see. Right, and then what makes me pissy piss is when the person that I was attracted to tries to. Do you know when like people come over to your area that you're accommodating and they rub up against, you know, like, and you can tell that that's where the things are going. Yeah. Like you said, you were ready to accommodate for the. I nearly the turned away. Yeah, and you you were ready to like occupy the the friend the friend that he was with, right? And I was like, you know what? I could easily approach this, right? I know the moves. It's there for the taking. It, it could happen. Right, and I said no, no. I said I'm not going to do this because I'm going to be respectful of myself and my time. Yeah. Because obviously I'd seen him get off with this other boy, and I, in my mind, um, and I will talk about grinder in a sec because there's a similar thing to do with grinder that okay. we've had this conversation about. Okay. But um, so yeah, I have a hard time kissing someone or whatever, having known that five minutes prior they were kissing somebody else. Because then I feel like I'm kissing that other person also. It's funny as well, because straight after the situation with you, yeah, just dived on another boy. Yeah, he obviously saw that it wasn't going to go anywhere because I obviously didn't make a move. I think sometimes that people go out, maybe this is half the press, people go out with that intention is to get... They do. It's for sex. But also, is it to, like a tally? Do they want to kiss as many this people is what as I'm possible? Thinking. They want quantity, not quality. Do they? I think it should be the cherry on top of a good night out. Well, this is a, that's what I look for. Like, I, if I'd have kissed him, I'd have wanted to keep kissing him all night. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like that. That's that's not the goal of the the goal of the night out is to have fun. Yeah, and I think if that happens, great with a person, gorgeous, positive, let's have a great time, we're having a yeah. fun time, we're single. We we're both in this space together. Let's do it. Yeah, like, I don't think I, that's I'm the open, goal. I'm open to it, but it's not. Yeah, it's not my goal for going out. Not at the club. I but I also think you are correct. I think it is quantity. It's quantity. People are after quantity. Yeah, essentially, guys, right? Obviously, because nothing was happening with us. It, it, like, tried to rub up against a few times. I wasn't having any any of it because I've got self-respect. 
he did just wander off and dive on the next boy. And it did, it's not whether you are attracted to them or not. You didn't look anything like the first boy, and you don't look anything like the other boy. No. You? And also, we're not saying that this is like a bad thing by any means. This is more just like a personal gripe. Because do what you want. You're single. You can kiss as many people as you want. That's yeah, fine. Want. It's more just my personal thing. I'm just like, I I couldn't ever do that. And I just have a hard time with that yeah. in clubs. And this is what we found. But yeah, and then it, it, it also does go over to Grinder Because guys, I have a real issue with, I mean, I mean, first of all, there's the openness of just sending your naked body straight out the gates. That's one thing. But then also, I hate, and I'm not sure if I actually did speak to you about this, mm. I hate when someone sends... So, obviously, we all know what Grinders like. Mm. People are there for a certain experience. Yeah. Right? And that's fine. But uh, where I have a difficult time is when someone sends me pictures of them doing the experience with another person that's not consented to this photo being shared with me. Oh, Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And this is sent. No, we did talk about this. Yeah, this is just sent, guys. And I've, it's been an it's been an influx recently. Mm. And I say to people that like, that to me is a complete put off. If there was any, ever a time where that experience was going to happen between us, mm. it's now off the table. Because mm. I'd be I'd be obviously just thinking now about the fact that obviously they'd been doing this. Now, obviously, I'm not naive enough to think that like people that I'll be getting with on Grinder have never had sex with anyone else. Absolutely. I'm not naive enough to think this because obviously that's what Grinder's like. Yeah. But I don't need to see it. Do you know what I mean? Prior to, prior to us even getting to that stage, I don't want to see it. And also, there is, a, there is a consent factor there that I think is lacking. Like, you're, you're sharing photos of you and this other person 100%. doing things without their consent as if it's your own property when realistically it's both of yours. Yeah. And that should be a personal thing in my opinion. I don't. I mean, personally, I never think about getting the camera out. I never, and especially it's not now. Never occupied my mind. I, I feel like in a relationship, fair enough. That's a bit more like, ooh, should we film with each other tonight? Because that's, you know I mean? that's between two. That's for you both. Yeah, and it's not like I'm getting the camera out during this little hookup time to then distribute later on to more people on Grinder as an enticing factor. Like, look at what I can do almost. Okay, now we're going to try and veer away from just bashing the gay community because we do love you. Each to their own, guys. Each yeah. to their own. Yeah, and do you know what? Th these are just personal experiences and personal takeaways from last night. Disclaimer, I'm just, I'm just someone with a microphone. And these were also just drunk thoughts. We were drunk when we made these notes. Yeah, but I'm sure there's people out there that agree. Yeah. Just things that just happen and I just think, hmm. I just prefer for it not to happen, but I'm also not telling anyone how to live. Because somebody, somebody else, a third person sat here would say, "Well, I can do the fuck I want." We we were literally just saying for other people to not do what they, to not tell yeah. people how to live. Yeah. So they, take everything we well, say. This, well, this is the thing: we're not telling anybody how to live. We're just speaking about our personal experiences last night with things that happened. So now we're not going to bash the gay community anymore. We're going to veer away from that because we don't want this to come across at all hateful. That's not the intention. Um. So we're going to now talk about etiquette in the club what was on the list what was the third yeah <laughs> getting my phone that, what was the th one thing there was one thing pooing things. at the club <laughs> pooing at the club <laughs> pooing at the club is a no is a no what was it let's have a look if you have to poo at the club i mean you gotta do it it's a bodily I'm function i'm sure i've done it before poppers oh poppers yeah guys i don't know if you'll be watching this who cares <laughs> so Last night, I saw a boy, and I, I've seen him a few times. I've been Leeds. Have you? Yeah. Um, apparently, he's lived down London now for over I've, a year. I've not told you something that I'm, that's going to come up in a second. Go on. What? On the pod? Yeah. And that's loud, is that? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm excited. Um, well, I saw this boy that I, I like. Do you know like the people that you just know of or whatever, and like you follow each other, whatever? Not necessarily friends, but like you'll obviously say hi when you see each other out, right? So he, um, I obviously saw him last night. I was obviously drunk, right? Guys, it was like, I mean, his friend was hot. She was called Fran. Yeah, we were chatting. She was hot. She had a top with handprints on her boobs. She was hot. Oof. Anyway, people already think I'm. She was hot. Gay baiting. She was very hot. So let's get off this topic. Um, but this boy, right? And I live. Um, so we we obviously chatted a little bit, and then he was like, "What are you down London for?" And I was just like, "Oh, just like seeing friends, whatever." And he was like, "Are you here for fun?" And I was like, "I was like, yeah." <laughs> I was like, yeah, look at me having all the fun. But then, I, but then he clearly meant gay fun. Pumpy. Pumpy, pumpy, rumpy, pumpy. <laughs> right? Thrust, thrust, baby. Um, so obviously he meant that. And then I was like, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. And then 
he proceeded then to offer us, offer us poppers. And that's one thing I don't need when I'm on a night out. I don't need a loose asshole. See, this is what this is what I'm going to say. Go on. Exactly what we just said. Mm. I could I can in one breath say that's disgusting. Don't do that. When I did it a few weeks ago. I've done it before. This is what I'm saying. Me and Al Leah did it once. I know. So this Leeds. is what I'm saying. You can look at other people and be like, that's disgusting behaviour. would never do that. And then turn around and do poppers at the club. The thing is, I, I understand the appeal because I guess it does kind of get you a bit loopy, doesn't it? Yeah. But for me, that's just not one... When someone else offers me their poppers, I'm a bit like, oh. Because you never know. I've never taken poppers to the club. Oh, or neither. Or brought them at the club. Neither. I remember we did it in, in Viaduct once. Maybe it was you that I did it with then. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. It's not, it's not something I think should be done, and it's not chic and quiche. But I have done it. <laughs> well, this is the thing. We have done it. But it, it, it's just one of those things that I think is almost just a bit like, oh, like it takes, you, it takes me by surprise. Because I forget that that's what people do at clubs. Yeah. Like when he pop, when he like just whipped them out, I was like, oh, yeah. poppers? No, no, no. That just, kind of, it kind of relates to another thing as well. Like not maybe this is like... Liam know. took his Alba soil to the club last night. Oh, I did. I smuggled, <laughs> I smuggled it in. You put it in Where his shoe. It? You put it in his shoe. Oh, I think it's in my pocket. I could really do with that right now. Yeah, he stuck his Alba soil in. I did. I thought it was gonna, they were going to take it Guys, he was bunged. No. It wasn't drugs. I've not been well, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, I was going to say as well, last night we really offered perspective on what we used to look like at the club as well. What do you mean? Like, we were looking at gays who... You just know it's when it when it's their first time out. Yeah, guys, there was a lot of baby gays. Bless them. And we were, I was looking at them, and Brad said, "Liam, that was us. That was strut. What you what it is is when you strut through to, to begin with. You first come in because you strut through, knowing that you're serving and knowing that you're owning the place. Well, because when when you I remember the feeling like when you yeah. come from outside London, you it's move powerful, to, and you move to London, people shit on heaven with reason because people have had have been mistreated in that venue. We're not going to get onto that. We're not going to get onto that. But they have. And that's we can't not acknowledge that. But as somebody who grew up outside London, you go to to heaven, you see this massive place full of gay people and every like variety. It's powerful. You just it just takes you over. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, oh, that was me. Yeah, because like now, now looking back, it is a bit like, oh, that's kind of cringe. But also, we did it. We did it. We did it three times a week, people. We walked through that place and we thought we owned it. Yeah, we, we owned fifty one percent of this joint. Yeah, we did. And I think it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful <laughs> growth. In the, in the wise words of Katya Zemlodzkova, if you're not looking back on what you did six months ago, plus. Make it, you, and it make you feel sick. And you're not growing. You know. So yeah, baby gays, my heart goes out to you and I relate. And, I, and you know what? Keep going. Because one day you'll be just like us, two old bitter gays. <laughs> Bashing. Okay. Pooing at the club, I guess let's talk about it. We were in the smoking area and so he said, did you do a poo? Did you do it? No, I don't remember that. You said it to me and I was like... Mm. And then we were waiting in the, in the queue for ages, ages and ages and ages. For the toilet? Yeah. <gasps> and there was that sexy French guy. Yeah. Guys, the guys, guys, guys. There was a real... If you're watching for sexy French guy, please hit me up. Yeah. Because fucking hell, he was a beaut... Not even like in a, like a sexual manner, but like... He was a beautiful person. He was person. really gorgeous. And the outfit and everything. The skin, the hair. He was, he was wearing like a, a matching crop top and trousers. Like denim cord thing, wasn't it? It wasn't denim, it was leather. Oh, it looked denim to me. Oh. I couldn't see. Clearly. Yeah. It was leather. Um, but guys, he was French and he was... V v v v we we oh, don't God. know if he was French. I, I, I was seeing his mouth move. Bitch, I, I can read lips. He was talking French. I'll tell you what. Voulez-vous coucher, coucher avec, avec moi que ce soir? I'm not French. <laughs> <laughs> if that wasn't clear. <laughs> um, I'm, I can barely speak English. We know this. <laughs> right. But guys, there was a beautiful French person. Was there any other beautiful people? Did you see any any really beautiful I people? I wasn't really looking, to be honest. To be I, quite honest. We were having all the fun. We guys, the, mus the music was on. This is what I said. Um, I think this comes back to priorities just change. Yeah. When you're old and bitter like us, I'm just there to shake my body. Yeah, I don't go out often enough to be like, this is my this is my night to go out and look for a man. This is my night to have, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I go out and I won't be going out for months now. We just <laughs> wanted to throw some shapes. Yeah, I wanted to throw some shapes and best believe I did. No, you really did. So, pooing in the club, we actually didn't talk about that. I mean, I guess it's got to be done because, I mean, it is a bodily function. I'm sure I've done it before. And I won't lie, do you know, every time I went to that toilet, I mm. sat down. And I didn't poo. Oh, no, I stood up. I didn't poo. But do you know why I sat down? Because my um, 
trousers that I was wearing, they don't have enough give where like, do you know, obviously like when you've, when you've got trousers on and you can leave it over your ass, like over, like over the top of your ass. Yeah. And then obviously unzip or whatever and then get the, the stuff out. I saw on a podcast the other day quickly. I don't, if you don't want to talk about this, we don't have to. But somebody said he, they don't pull, like how much do you pull out when you go for a stand up boy? The whole, the whole willy. And balls. Yeah. Yeah. Who's whapping out just the shaft? Well, that's what I thought. And somebody said they used a the hole in the zipper. No, that that scares me. That's really not no, correct. No, that makes me feel really insecure and weird. That's Ooh. not correct. Also, who's fishing about? You've got to pull the underwear in down. In the zip. Just blah, blah, blah. Just unpop it, pull it out all out. Get yeah. on with it. But yeah, so my problem was, obviously these trousers, they didn't have enough give for me to just get out the front part. Mm. So I was like, right, so I'm, I'm going to stand here. With my whole ass out. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I may as well just sit down. And I sat down, tucked it in, and that was that. Yeah, fair play. And I did a vlog clip every time I went to the toilet. Did you? I did, yeah. Aww. And I was like, toilet update number two. We went a few times, didn't we? Yeah, I was we did. weighing a lot last night. I was staying hydrated. Oh, guys, the next one's baffling. What is it? Earphones in the club. And like earplugs. I suppose the earplugs I can kind of see because it is loud. So if you don't want to damage your hearing, I guess, sure thing. Earphones. Listening to your own music in the club how are you hearing it because they realistically they were just like apple wired headphones they're not noise cancelling suction cup to I, your guess, head. I guess it's all for like sensory overload vibes unless they unless they were using that to kind of block out some noise and they weren't plugged in yeah maybe they weren't plugged or maybe they were plugged in and nothing was playing. or it was an accessory and you know all about headphones as accessories honey i do now that's serving Headphones and accessories. I'm sorry, it's a vibe. <laughs> and I, t I to this day plugged into nothing. I to this day, I stand by it. So let's just do a U turn on that subject. Let's go yeah. right back around to carry on. Yeah, you carry on. <laughs> tell you that, like we've said plenty of time. I'm not telling how, no one how to live, right? <laughs> but if they were plugged in and you've got your music playing, that's a different thing. Why are you here? A <laughs> yeah. I mean? Why? I guess. I guess just for like the bodily contact. I should assume the vibes and the sweat. Yeah. And the porn idol. Willies. Willies and bums and fannies on the stage. On a pole. See, I'd be... Do you know what this makes me think about? Mm. Oh, see, this is why I love our conversations, because we can go from one to one to one. So, what porn idol made me think about? Do you know Naked Attraction? Yeah. Fucking hell. People have balls of steel to go on that show. I'm sorry... I would be mortified. I would be mortified. Because my thought, right, is if you go on this show, people can see that. The public. Yeah. No one has to search for it. It's shown on national television. My friend. On Channel 4. Did you see the guy with the elephant tattoo? No. Yeah, oh, was the, was the todger the trunk? Yeah. I think he had one leg also. And my friend met him. Boots. At a festival. Boots. But that's what I'm saying. Seen it all. I've seen it all. Yeah, I there's no mystery there anymore. No mystery. I know you've got an elephant tattoo. And I know that your todger's long like a trunk. What's his todger long? Yeah. I guess it's the If you're going to get an elephant tattoo, I should imagine you should be kind of proud of the yeah. trajectory. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, guys, naked no, attraction and stuff like that and like porn idol even. How much would you have to be paid? Oh, a lot of money. Would you rather do naked attraction or porn idol? Porn idol. Same. Same. Because you've got to think that's only a certain select pe few people. But my thought is... What if they're filming it? This... And people do. That's also wrong. Wait, Liam, no, this is wrong. The, the general public are filming you in Porn Idol. But I do guess... Do you consent to it? I, I guess you do I when you sign up. I guess being on stage, you'll consent into that. <gasps> the general public but also you can record you our, thrashing your willy. Our careers are very niche. A lot, Not many people do what we do. If you're working in an office, nine to five every day, don't have, don't have Instagram... Don't have yeah. Facebook. Who cares? Yeah, I suppose no one's going to care, are they? Or if you're on holiday, what if they're on? Like, what if they're tourists live in Brazil? I just could never because the way that would get around. Yeah, I suppose it would. That's get why I don't really send nudes these days. No, guys, and I used to be a real advocate for nudes, and now I can't really send them. I can't remember the last time I took a nude. And also, do you know what? I know what makes it more difficult. Tattoos. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a whole other thing. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say that I still don't send nudes ever. No. Like, I'm young. Mm -hmm. I'm young, dumb, and yeah. <laughs> you, you know the rest. <laughs> young, dumb, and yeah. Um, but I, I, I tend to, re it really takes me a while to walk up to a person before. But I'm, I'm, 
Sorry, guys. I what you're just talking about about an element of privacy, an element of keeping something to yourself. I'm that's what I'm like with nudes. That's People, a do, that's a lack in the gay community these days. People don't like mystery. No, they don't. People want to know what they're getting themselves in for before. Yeah. I understand. The, I understand knowing <gasps> the, knowing the lay of the land. Last night. Oh. Uh, We'll have to get into it. I understand knowing the lay of, lay of the land, but when you talk to somebody, knowing what your preferences are, mm. knowing what you what goes where, mm. I understand that's that's important to a lot of people. Mm. But you don't need to see someone's intestines. I yeah, I don't, need to, I don't need to see what they ate for dinner. I don't need to see your small small intestine. I, I don't need to see the cavity. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see the anal for sure. Don't need to see any of that. Oh, I don't but, need to see the hemorrhoids. No, we don't need to see <laughs> that. Yeah, because guys, yesterday grind once again. Um. I got sent just the first thing. This is this is another thing though. It's just like unsolicited out the gates. That's what they're doing these days. That's what it is out the gates. This guys. For the audio listeners, Brad's just elevated it. Happy baby. Th pose. This is the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, absolutely. It's just anal cavity. And it, it guys, also on top of that, we need to talk about the art of nudes. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but I'm not done on this. Right? On top of that, this person's face head and everything was in this picture grinning. if you're gonna show me anal cavity lay back i don't want to see you grinning no people um <gasps> what's gonna say is that they're proud also, of it also <laughs> the, what ties to that is the name is often op doors unlocked oh Come on in. guys that would scare the shit out of me. yeah i would be so scared doors unlocked ass up face down waiting doors unlocked because my mind goes come fuck me my mind goes what if they come in with a knife what if it's knife first yeah what if it's knife in the ass it, that's where my mind goes. I just don't know. Ooh, that, that, that to me, but I guess that's the risk. That's what people like, isn't it? Some yeah, people, people like that risk. risk. People like the risk. I'm not going to discredit. I'm not going to kink shame. Live your life. And I'm not going to say I've not done stuff like that. But I'm not, I'm not going to engage. You quite carry on over that. You've never engaged, really, have you, in that kind of thing? What? Like the doors unlocked. Uh, come on in. Yeah, no, I have. No, I've no, no, not for me. As a top, I have. I'm not going to lie. Not for me. I am never the. Like in my bottom the years, invitee. in my yeah, in my bottom years, I'm never, I was never that. I would be so scared. I just don't need that. I just, for me, it's all about security. I want to know who I'm seeing, what's going to happen vaguely. I don't need a, a, a distinct minute by minute. Yeah, I don't need to know the, I, the national insurance. No, but I want to know what's going on, and I want to know that I can leave at any point and feel comfortable with leaving. Yeah, that's why I'm more comfortable with like bringing people to my flat because then I have. What's the word? I have... You're in control. I have, like, the real estate to be like, get out. I just know? can't... I can't imagine... Like, I don't know. Like, if I don't know, you could turn around and lock that door, bolt it, and never let me out again. And that scares me. And then it's not sexy. Well, then, of course it's not sexy. Then it's a, an but escaping, also, but escape situation. I, I, I lock my door. I know, but bitch, that oh, would scare maybe me. Maybe some people have been scared. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's, the, that's where my mind goes. What if that's why that boy aired me? And he's fat again. And I hope that picked it up. I think it did. Because I'm I'm in a habit of locking my door. Well, that's shit. Well, that's just safety. Because what if people think I'm like locking it to like keep them in? I don't think people. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <sighs> Guys, I tell you what, I'm ripe. <laughs> <laughs> ripe for the picking. I think. Um, I don't think people go straight to that. But that's my mind. It's just I don't need that. I want to talk to somebody. I want yeah. to know. I want to know you're a person, a good person. Yeah. I I I rarely meet up with people anyway these days, just because you never know. You never. Know. You never know. It's a scary know, thing. You know. My ideal thing. I said this to you a few weeks ago. Going on a date, mm. or no, matching on a dating app or on Instagram, whatever. Yeah. Getting to know somebody and then ha having a date not too long after talking, because then you just get straight to going in person, which is much better in person. Mm. Have a date and then once you're together. And I know that you're a real person with good morals, whatever. Then we'll then then yeah, and you're not going to stab me. No, you're not going to stab me or lock me away. Then traffic me. Then it's then we'll see where things go. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I need to. I need that first part. Yeah, you need the security. Which I mean, that that's a very. <gasps> it's an easy ask. It's an easy ask, but to a lot, but to a lot of people, that's alien. I know. Yeah, but this, people... this is where it's a bit fucked up, in my opinion. It's just like, come on now. The least we should we should be wanting is a bit of security. But people don't want that. People to want know that literally, we're not going to get killed. They want. Come, go. Oh, they want go, <laughs> arrive. Come, go. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's what they want. There it is. And then that's all they want. They don't want any more than that. I know. And I can't discredit that, but it's just really not for me. 
Yeah, maybe this is the gay episode because I knew we were going to do a, another episode on just gay things. Well, but we this can because I feel like we're scratching the surface. Yeah, and also this has been more of a gay bashing episode than it is anything else. Oh, it's really quite unfortunate, isn't it? I'm I'm not mad at that. I think it's been juice, juice. juicy juice. Well, I, don't, I don't think I had anything else on not washing hands. Oh yeah, God, guys, back to the etiquette of um, clubs. We right, so we said obviously we were in this we were in this queue for the toilet for a good minute mm -hmm. we, we we were looking at that french guy beautiful specimen right not to objectify but we we obviously got to the part where obviously we were going into the toilets now if you've been to heaven you know the layout right you obviously wait you go in whatever gender neutral toilets yeah. everyone goes in everywhere so, some motherfucker we saw him come out of his cubicle and he walked straight past the sink Straight past the sink, straight past the lady that sits there giving you a bit of a grin sometimes. I don't, I don't think there was a queue. Was there a queue for the sink? I don't think there no, was. No, there was, there was like two people stood there, I think, yeah. But either way. Just stand there and wait for them to be done. People don't take long washing their hands. He walked straight out, people. Walked straight past us and didn't look back. But now, do we know that he actually was in this toilet peeing and this shitting? Is, this is the whole thing. <gasps> Could have been doing drugs. Could have been yeah. on his knees. No, they don't allow that, do they? Although I suppose that, that woman that was sat there, she won't move in. She's not going to chase nobody. Yeah, though. she won't bothered. So who knows? Maybe maybe he just didn't do anything like that. But also maybe it is just a hygiene problem. Do you know what I mean? I wash now my, that's disgusting. I wash my hands in my own home all the time. Every time. See, I, I feel like there's a level of like, you're in your own home, I live alone. If I'm, I'm not going to wash my hands every time I go to the loo. If I've had a sit down wee... Mm. I literally pull them down, to we stand up, put them up. Well, that's all I do. I don't even touch. Oh, no. oh so that's fine to me. Yeah, Forget, see, every I've spoke about this on the pod, actually. Every time I go to the toilet, I'm sat down. Oh, no, it really depends. Sometimes I don't sit. Oh, see, I always am sitting. There's never a time when I'm, sat, I'm stood up in my own, in my own abode. Mm. So this is what I mean. Like, I don't really touch anything. You don't need to wash them. But mine's, mine's like... Pre food, I now I well, yeah. I wash my hands and sanitize my hands most like ninety nine percent of the time before I eat. Well, I think that's completely reasonable. But before COVID, I didn't. But I ju I just think in the club especially. I did have a moment last night. Did you have a moment when you were sat there, think stood there thinking, COVID happened? Did you think that? No, not one. I not did for one second. I was partnering around. And I was thinking this room is full. I'm sweating, and I've got your sweat, your sweat, your sweat on me. And you were ill. I was unwell. I'm much better now, Christ. Guys, he's got a cold. He's snotty. You've I've probably had it. seen. And it's it. This this is the. It's literally like day four, day five. I think we're on the yeah. way out. But my God, yeah, COVID happened. I didn't think about that for one second in my life. I did social distancing. I don't remember that. I mean, COVID happened, but things happen. I guess that is probably insensitive of us to say. Battery's dying. I'm starving. Let's re change the battery, and then we'll probably wrap this up because we've been we've been going for like an hour. I like to go for about an hour and 15 usually. So, well, all right. BRB, we're taking a quick break. Da, 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 da. Okay. One minute. Let's come back into the frame. Uh. Right, guys, we thought to wrap this this little episode up. Um, we're going to do an, an top or bottom quiz. Now, I like to end on a game just so we, we end on a light note. I think that's a good thing. So we've both got it up on our phones. God, yours is dark mode. Yeah. Interesting. Guys, comment down below. Are you a dark mode girly or a light mode? I'm a light mode. I'm dark mode. I was dark mode for a while, but... I just I, like it. I, I think it just radiates positivity, the light mode. <laughs> so, first question is... This is obviously to, de to determine... Guys, come on, we know these quizzes are fucked, but fun. Choose one reason that helps you decide which kind of fruit you would like to eat. It says, easy to peel or no need to spit seeds out. I can see where they're going with this. Choose based on my taste. Choose low sugar fruits based on healthy lifestyle. <laughs> Only choose delicate fruits that can be put into plate plates to take beautiful photos. God, that's giving bottom, isn't it? I think I'm choosing based on my taste. I'm I'm thinking easy to peel or no need to spit seeds out. Go for it. What manner will you take when you go outdoors when it's raining? but it's neither just drizzle nor a downpour. Take an umbrella casually. Absolutely not. Go out in a hat without an umbrella. Put on my beautiful rain boots or take my favourite umbrella. Get caught in a shower with no rain gear. I do a hat. 
sometimes. I get a bucket hat. The thing is, I'd usually just do like a hoodie, but I suppose I'm going to have to say the hat one, aren't I? Because there's no hoodie on here. What will you choose if you have to wear any kind of accessories to match your daily dress? Wait, uh, wait, have you moved on? Fuck. I ain't chosen. Go. Tie, cufflinks, neck strap, necklace, finger ring, ear stud or ring, watch and bracelet. Mine's finger ring or ear stud ring. Yeah, same. Oh, no, necklace. I wear my necklace every day. I wear my earring every day. I wear my necklace every day. Okay, next question. Which of the following kinds of voice will you get attracted by more easily? Gentle and soft, dreamlike and elegant, or magnetic and sonorous? Magnetic. I'm not really bothered about that voice. No, but magnetic sounds... Mm. Yeah. Dreamlike and elegant. What would that sound like? Not this. Not that. Not this baritone voice. Magnetic and sonorous. Yeah. Sure. Do you like to eat mustard? Very Not much. at all. <laughs> I love mustard. I can't stand it. I don't, I'm not one for sauces. I don't need condiments. What style is your clothing based on your normal type of fashion purchases? Comfortable and casual, easy for daily commute, a strong fashion aura that ordinary people find hard to manage. That's you. Walk at the cutting edge of fashion, willing to challenge difficult to wear clothing. Mine's comfy and casual these days. Mine's the second one. Mine's the first one, for oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, look at me. I mean, look at us right now. Yeah. On tapping, sorry. Yeah, that's going to be I've stopped it. Good. Which of the following lyrics best fits your mindset? I envy your love, which is strong vigour, like a queen with great great popularity. Are these actual songs? I don't know. It's said that too ideal a love is always impossible to touch, while I still like, attempt to seize it wherever I go. Love is just like the continuous raindrops. The more I think, the messier it will be. I am the wind bell. Hanging at the corner of the roof, and you are the wind to whip me up. Oh, I like that one. The fuck? That shows your mindset. None of them. I guess the messy one. I like the wind bell one. That's Love cool. is just like a continuous raindrop. <laughs> sure. When Why you not? when you watch romantic dramas, which kind of course would you prefer that? For would you prefer for the hero and heroine? They fall in love with each other, steadily growing old together. The hero kisses the heroine against the wall and declares ownership for her domineeringly. The heroine falls in love with the hero secretly, fantasizing about the scenario of staying with him. And the hero is a love rat on and off again with the heroine and they don't come together until the end. I don't like the love rat one. I like the falling in love steadily. (laughs) The hero kisses the heroine against the wall and declares ownership. No, that's giving objective. Objectifying. The heroine falls in love with the hero secretly. Fant- that's me. The fantasy. That's my Josh. The secrets. Only based on your preference, which kind of animal will you choose as a pet with no consideration for whether its care is complicated or not? Ooh. Turtle, goldfish, dog, cat, rabbit, hamster, chinchilla, spidey, a monkey. Monkey. I was thinking a monkey. Monkey, absolutely. I'd love to win a monkey. Next question. Go on, man. Some of them you have to tap it, some of them you don't. Yeah, weird. Which kinds of books would you read most frequently? Select from most to least favourite. Would you have to tick all of them? Economics and management, science and technology, history, military affairs, literature, social sciences, fictions, bestsellers, reference books, life arts. Well, I'd say life arts first. I'd say... Oh, wait. Gardening, handcrafts, painting, cooking, baking, slimming, health, preservation. Oh, For most to least. I almost would say history. I love history. Fictions, sure. Then I'd probably say life arts, literature, sure. I feel like I can only do four. Oh. Oh, no, I can't. I can do five. I can do five. I'm just tapping here. My last one is reference books. Fuck that. I ain't reading no dictionary. Who's reading a dictionary? Oh, no, I don't want military affairs. Oh, I've done it wrong. Who cares? It won't let me tap them. This has been a very relaxing episode for me. Good. I kind of like this very just chilled out vibe, you know? Why is it not working? Uh, oh, come on now. Come off it, sis. Come off it. One, two. I am starving. Three, same. Four, five, six, seven. I really eight. would love a meal deal. <sighs> sure there'll be a Tesco with a meal deal, won't they, on the way? Yeah, there is. In the forward corner in Covent Garden. Except for clothes, shoes, luggage and bags, would you pay special attention to the brand when you choose articles for daily use? Yes. I pay little attention to the brand and buy what I can see in the supermarket. I'd buy well-known brands that do not, but do not pr- pursue luxuries. I'd buy some slightly luxurious toiletries, but I'd pay little attention to others. If conditions permit, the more delicate my life, the happier I will be. 
I'd buy well-known brands but not pursue luxuries. I suppose that. Yeah. I'd buy some sli- slightly luxurious toiletries but pay little attention to... Uh, why toiletries? These questions are weird, man. They are weird. That's giving, like... Th- what they're saying is, like, people that are bottoms are going to be the people that do skincare, essentially. <gasps> That's what this is going to be. Stereotypical. Yeah. But I, I, I guess I do go more with toiletries, so I guess I'll put that. What do you, what, what do you want to have... What do you want to have if you can choose one more sibling, eh? With no consideration of conditions in your real life, would you like an elder brother, little little brother, elder sister, little sister? I'd like an older sister. I'd love a little brother, because I've got a mad. Oh my God, they've just said that. They said to me that I'm, I'm like a teen girl. They said to me, I'm an egocentric man. I'm 60% top, 40% bottom. I'm 65% bottom, 35% top. That's kind of rings true. <laughs> I'd say I'm more like 75% top, but that's dwindling every day. Honestly. <laughs> We're getting that. Is it? But what did your quote say? Egotistical I mean, man? I mean, yeah. What does otomi seme mean? <laughs> Maybe that's the language this quiz was written in. It says, you are like a teen girl. I'm a teen girl. I'm an egotistical But yet I'm a man. top. How does that make sense? I was more top, but yet I was like a teen girl. What quote have you got on there? I ain't got anything on it. What does that say? What? What's the weather? Windy. Your type of weather, honey. Windy. She loves the wind. Guys, I love the wind. <laughs> if there's one thing we'll end on, that's some wind. And it's been windy. It's true oh, throughout this, this episode. Yeah, it really does. But guys, my favourite kind of weather, wind. wind. What's yours? Sun. I feel like you liked rain. I like the rain. I'd rather anything but wind for me. Anything but snow for me. I know I'd love the snow. I like snow when it's falling and it's fresh. I don't like it after that. I like the feeling, here's something. It, like, I like the feeling in winter when it's freezing and then you stand in the sun and you feel the warm. Love that. Yeah, I get that. I just hate snow when it turns to ice and I just want to kill myself. But anyway. Black ice. On that note. <laughs> oh, I nearly choked. Don't panic. <laughs> Guys, he has a real fear of people choking, I tell you that. I really do. Um... I guess with that said, guys, this is the end of the episode, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not sure how long this has been, to be honest. Definitely over an hour, I should imagine. But anyway, this has been The Kitchen Sink. This is another episode down the drain. Have you enjoyed yourself, Liam? I have. It's going to be back soon, guys. I'm not sure when. Whenever you come up to mine next, we should do an actual episode in the... In the kitchen sink. In the gig, you know? Yeah. Um... And we actually will do an episode that's got a topic. Yeah, we'll talk about something. Because well, I've actually already got it planned. But we just thought this one would be more fun because we're like a little bit tired. We've be- just been out, you know? Yeah. So this has just been a chilled one. So hopefully you enjoy it. And I'll probably do these episodes randomly. Like, I don't mind a random episode here and there, just chatting shit. Yeah. Because I think that's quite nice. What are you taking away? What? What are you taking away from the day, this conversation we've had? Nothing. I'm, I think I'm pretty solid. <laughs> I'm, I tell you what, I'm, I am hungry. Yeah, that's what I'm taking away. Let's go get some. an empty fucking stomach. Yeah. All right. See you next week, every Sunday, 5 p.m. Tune on in. Make sure to give me a five star review if you haven't, bi- haven't bitches. And if you hate watchers, please give me a five star review. So all I ask. Thank you so much. And follow, and subscribe, and like, and comment. All the things. And goodbye. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>